What if I told you that there was a fish that could put Garfield to shame? A fish so remarkably unremarkable that sloths and koalas cower in fear at the mere mention of its name. A fish so lazily manipulated that large animals across the ocean now live to serve its existence. And what if I told you that this fish was called the shark sucker? Another one? The Remora, aka the shark sucker, aka the sucker fish, aka the common no. sucker, aka $20 is $20, is known for being a fish that freeloads off others 24-7. Now, this behavior didn't develop overnight. As you can see in this pic, the Remora fish was dropped on its head early on in life, resulting in a massive cave in its noggin. Afraid of the other fish at school seeing this, the Remora decided to strap a Velcro hat on its head to cover it up. While this may have succeeded in hiding the dent, a humongous head crater would make anybody a little bit special. And thus, we now have the basement dwelling, reddit loving, pickle spear eating fish that we all know and hate today. While some generous animals take this 3 foot elementary dropout under their wing, at around the 3 month point they all get sick of the shenanigans. After being evicted, the displaced Remora will scramble to find another kind soul to leech off of. Unfortunately, two years of being a shark sucker leaves quite an undesirable track blow. record. One particularly orthodox animal, the lemon shark, upon seeing a remora will debate the importance of the nuclear family, discuss the transgressions of the remora community, and then eat it. Though they're known for sucking sharks, these pickle spear fiends will attach to anything and everything. Dolphins, yup. Rays, yup. Sea turtles, yup. Humans, yup. That fish from the Little Mermaid? Yup. However, to most marine animals, the remora isn't considered a parasitic species. In return for being a glorified sticky hand, it will eat parasites straight off of the host's skin. This is enough for most animals to accept the trade-off, which is increased drag aka slower speed. Now to the aquatic world, this is no deal breaker. But to us flea brain humans, this was news bigger than any submarine could possibly be. Documents from the Elizabethan era contain myths of remora fish stopping whole ships from sailing. Hey look, it's a remora! This myth was so potent that the remora fish was actually named after it. Now obviously this myth isn't true, and you know what else isn't true? The assumption that remoras eat mainly the scraps of their host's prey. Remoras are distinguished fish, okay? They don't eat leftovers. They're not going in for round two. Instead, these gentlemen are patient, waiting up to three to four days before eating, you guessed it, a whole lot of shit. These scoundrels stick around waiting for their host's despicable dookie every day of the week. Now, if you're anything like me, you might be wondering, hmm, why don't other animals do this? Well, number one, they do. Number two, dignity. And number three, because most animals, especially fish, need energy to move. Remoras use so little energy that fecal matter can sustain their freeloading lifestyle. The very existence of remoras spits on the face of hardworking blue collar fish. As if this wasn't enough shame to kill a protestant village, Remoras decided to take it one step further with the whale shark. Not yeah, only will they gather you. in the dozens within the whale shark's mouth, but they force the whale shark to hit a splash move before dropping a deuce. Why you ask? Well I think Dr. Simon Pierce worded it best when he said that during a quote unquote poop nado, Remora will quote unquote dive head first what into the, the shark's fuck? cloaca at the first sign of a shark. No. Thank you Dr. Simon Pierce. I guess? Besides being into butt stuff, remoras are also into a little something called host infidelity. Rather than hauling their lazy tails into new territory, they'll find other half brained individuals straight up on their host's back. You know, the same back they used to grow up. That's the equivalent of doing a no rubber style in your parents' master bedroom. Straight goblin behavior. You know what else is goblin behavior? You not subscribing and hitting that bell.